Sam Harris is waking up, A Guide to Spirituality Without Religion, is first and foremost what he himself calls a seeker's memoir. It is anchored in over two decades of his own personal practice and his own exploration of mindfulness and meditation deeply informed by his understanding of neuroscience and philosophy. For me, what was a revelation with this book was encountering Sam Harris, the spiritualist. Uh, because my familiarity with Sam started with his uh, two books, The End of Faith and Letter to a Christian Nation. What I knew most about him was his very, very uh, established stance uh, against religion. And to encounter the man who has thought through spirituality and the states of consciousness as thoroughly and as seriously as Sam has, and has explored them in almost every aspect you can imagine, uh, that all of a sudden opened up not only Sam as a person in a uh, unique and revelatory way, but all of a sudden allowed for me to ride on his shoulders to start to think through spirituality and meditation and mindfulness in ways that I had never even attempted. Sam starts as an exquisite writer, and so the editorial process uh, was one that, that began with a manuscript that was wonderfully well written, uh, incredibly uh, well realized, and the single greatest asset I think I brought to it as an editor was I had never previously spent a second in meditation. It had never crossed my mind to think about trying mindfulness or any of those various practices. And so as I read the book, I was the person who was able to put to Sam the queries that were, have you explained this as clearly as it needs to be? I don't quite get it. Uh, or when he starts to introduce the wealth of scientific evidence that stands behind meditation and mindfulness, be able to raise that question that says, as somebody who's never encountered this before, hold up just a little bit, give me just a bit more so I can understand exactly what it is you are trying to get across. And I gotta say, Sam was brilliant at this. He got it immediately, and the back and forth process became not only richer and richer in terms of what was on the page, but going back to my uh, contention that as I worked on the manuscript, I thought it was my responsibility to actually attempt the things that were being written. It made it easier and easier for the likes of me to follow. And I think that'll be true for everybody who reads the book.